Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So, as you can see, I'm back in my favorite charging stall here at the Francis Energy Station in Lawton, Oklahoma. So you saw in my last episode that I thought the car was the one at fault. Maybe a Tesla software update kind of stopped the adapter from working. Well, later on during the week, watching other people's YouTube videos, that's pretty much been confirmed now that the latest uh, update has pretty much stopped the adapter from working but what we're going to do today is I got the testing software going I got the laptop here in my trunk and I got it hooked up to this uh, adapter here so we're going to see if we can capture the failure and uh, forward that on to CTEC to see if they can create a software patch that circumvents Tesla's block on this adapter so here we go. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, it's starting up. I do have uh, stuff happening here on the computer. It appears that it's starting to charge. The charger is clicking. The car is clicking. And I just heard the failure inside. And there you go. That is it. Let me uh, save this file here. Let's go inside and see what this error says here in the car. So you can see I did get the unable to charge incompatible charging adapter. Try using different charging equipment so what we can see by this is that Tesla is blocking this adapter for sure this was a active choice on Tesla's part because um, they took the time to uh, put this uh, message here in the computer if it was just accidental that they stopped this adapter from working there wouldn't be a, a pre-worded warning We'll go ahead and try it a couple more times and just make sure that this is the case. But obviously, this is the case. Computer's reset. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this charging adapter again in. This says it's waiting, so that's good. That's what that is supposed to say. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, and I'm going to go inside and watch the inside for when it starts charging. Okay, the station's booting up. I hear it out there. I heard the adapter click. Starting to charge, the car clicked. I got power for just a second, 46 kW, and then it says unable to charge, incompatible charging adapter. <laughs> what the heck, Tesla? This is not cool. What if I was on a cross country trip thinking my adapter is going to work, and you send an update to my car that just stops it from working, that blocks it? That's not cool at all, you know? You could have sent out a warning email like, hey, uh, whatever it's gonna say, we don't like this company and we wanna sell our own adapter and make our own money, so we're gonna block it. At least I would have known that it's not gonna work. This is pretty BS here, but uh, let me go out and uh, go ahead and unhook everything. I'll go across the way over there and we'll try the other brand charging station just to, 
just to be sure, just to try it out again. We're back at Old Reliable over here, and uh, obviously it is not this station's fault that uh, it's not going to work. It is completely Tesla's fault, so y'all keep that in mind. Even the BTC high power unit over there that I always have trouble with was going to charge. It was going to work with this adapter before it got cut off. And these, these always work, but not today because Tesla decided to send an update out and screw everybody. So let's go ahead and clear this off the computer. Get this plugged back in, ready to go. Find some way to manhandle this cable over here. to get it to go where I need it to go. Got a beep. Oh, okay, this is going. Going all by itself. Let me turn on the little camera here so y'all can see what's going on down here. So there you go. A lot of stuff is happening. That didn't work. So, here we go again. Okay, stuff's happening. Cars clicking, charging. The car says charging inside on the screen. Now it says charging stopped. machine here thinks it's charging but the car said charging stopped see it says charging stopped and there's an error message incompatible charging adapter unable to charge okay so the machine finally gave up here Let's go ahead and we'll try it one more time here. We're trying to charge. Car is clicking. Error message again. Ain't that a b So the machine's still trying to charge, but the car is not going to charge. It says it's charging, but zero energy is being transferred. And it gave up course oh boy all right guys it was a quickie today but hopefully it was informative now you know tesla has killed the c-tech adapter at least until the people at c-tech can push a firmware update out to circumvent that block but once you update your car to the latest software this will quit working on version 150 until further notice i will let y'all know as soon as there's a fix out or if it's possible to even fix it i don't know maybe c tech can't circumvent the tesla block on them but uh that's gonna be it for today i'll uh let y'all know as soon as i find out anything else thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one
I know I already said bye, but there is a uh, white Tesla in front of me. So I just thought that was uh, unique enough in this area to go ahead and share. So if you happen to be the white Tesla that's cruising in Lawton when I'm making this video, hi to you. Hi, white Tesla. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.